Hello, Marcus Lim here with Gotham City Year One. This collects the six issue series, and here they are Gotham City Year One, issue one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, the cover to issue one is also the cover of this hardcover. The series is by Tom King, Phil Hester, and what it does is it's trying to tell the story, the untold story of the secrets of how Gotham became Gotham. Right? It says uh, the untold story, the fall from grace, the legend they would birth the bat, and that's about to change. <coughs> the untold story is now told. So this collects, as I said before, six issue saga with an extensive gallery of never-before-seen artwork from the artist Phil Hester. So it's got um, some extras there. Okay, but yeah, pretty much I would say this is um, best read, this story is best read in one sitting, right, rather than, you know, six issues. And so to have this finally in hardcover is really, really good. Okay. <clears throat> So let me wrap this. Okay, and I'll take the jacket out. That's the jacket. Okay. And oh wow, I think that might be a variant. Okay. And that's the the, the back. Okay. Pretty pretty nice. All right, so let's get into it. So, <clears throat> Gotham City Year One, Issue One. Um, that's the cover. Okay, Chapter One. You can tell that this has a really um, noir feel to it, and that's what it's trying to do, right? to be a noir detective thriller and that's what Tom King's doing here uh, you can see that the artwork also feels uh, has that noir feel to it this takes place in 1961 and it's narrated by a, a very old Sam Bradley recounting his days back in 1961 okay to uh, to Batman so it's pretty much telling the story of how you know his past and how Gotham became Gotham, and how yeah, there's uh, secrets to be told. So that's him, okay. And the story is about a mystery, right? A kidnapping. So Richard Wayne and Constance Wayne. So that's Constance and Richard's the husband. So Richard and Constance, their daughter, infant daughter, Helena, has been kidnapped and it's up to Sam Bradley to solve the mystery. So there's this mystery woman as well, Sue. Okay, like looks a little bit like a precursor to Catwoman. Alright. <clears throat> but uh, but this is definitely a story with yeah, so that's the infant, uh, Wayne, that's, uh, that was, uh, kidnapped, okay? But this is definitely a story with many twists and turns, just like any good detective story does. <clears throat> you never quite know, like, who's really behind everything. <clears throat> okay. Um, and amidst it all, right, Tom King tries to explore the themes of moral decay and also prejudice. So Sam Bradley himself is a man of two worlds, I guess, in a sense, because he's half colored as well, right? So, um, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, and that's Richard Wayne, okay. Alright, but when we get to chapter 5, that's where all the uh, 
plot twist get revealed one after another and it's almost like you 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 definitely it definitely wants to makes you wanna go back and reread the whole thing you know in a in a whole new uh, context because of the twist that's been uh, revealed and the twist don't end there because there's another twist huh, at the very end as well here which also kind of suggests that perhaps Bruce Wayne's parentage is not quite what we think it is and we also see the progression of Richard's uh, chemical factory to eventually evolving into Ace Chemical and if you know Batman, if you're a Batman fan, you know that's where uh, Joker uh, was born, right? So <clears throat> it seems to suggest <clears throat> that, you know, there's something sinister behind the Wayne family name. And so that's that. So variant cover gallery. So here's some variant covers from year one, number one. From number one. Uh, another, uh, number two, number two, this is also the that one there, back cover and number three, number three number four, four and then five, five and then six, six and then we've got a sketchbook by Phil Hester um, yeah, Sam Bradley Doodles Okay. okay, yeah, pretty cool. You got a page from the script and also the layouts, pencils, and cover process. So, this is the process behind the, the cover for the issue number well, issue number one, really. <coughs> and that's for issue number two. Um, yeah. So, um, and three, and four, and five. Oh, so it's got the cover process for every issue. One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> and some uh, plate pencil. Okay, not, not too bad, the extras. Um, but I guess, you know, what's really good, you know, even without counting the extras, as I mentioned, is that you get to read this um, detective noir thriller in one sitting and it is definitely really well done as a detective story it's a sto tell story of the highest caliber and I guess if it were a standalone story it would have been way up there but it's just because it's also tied to Gotham and I think some fans would take issue with how the Wayne family name has been tainted in a way because of this like a bit of like a revisioning of um, the history so I don't know <clears throat> I would maybe prefer it to be more of like an Elseworlds story but in any case definitely worth checking out Gotham City Year One uh, the hardcover collection so hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe and I will see you in another video.